Last week at the Tokyo 2024 Ham Fair, Yezu made a huge announcement, and that was the release of the FTX-1F. This will be a new radio that's a portable HF, VHF, UHF radio. Of course, you don't need to tell me all this, because if you're watching this, you've already seen all the videos about it. So instead, Yezu, today, this is an open video to you. And I wanted to have a quick chat with you about something that I think will really help elevate or continue to make this radio great, and that's releasing the STL files for your FTX-1F. I'm probably the first person to address this to you, but I'm not the first person to think about it, is back in 2020, ICOM released the STL files for their ICOM IC705, and this did a lot of good in the community. But let's take a step back here real quick and talk about what exactly is an STL file. An STL file, quite simply put, is almost like a 3D design blueprint for that product. And what I mean by that is with a 3D design of the product, you could of course 3D print yourself an ICOM IC705 or in this case an FTX-1F, but also you could import this into a computer-aided design software such as Fusion 360 and really start doing some awesome design work. Imagine allowing tinkerers, hobbyists, as well as other businesses, the opportunity to start designing products for the Yezu FTX-1 before the FTX-1 is officially released to the public. And what would this do? This would all of a sudden allow for people to have custom products ready to go for this radio. I don't want to take an FTX-1F out into the field and drop it the first day and shatter the screen because I didn't have any protection for it. Now all of a sudden, because the STL files were released, somebody has access to be able to create a case for them, much like the POV IC705 case, which was a great add-on to that radio. Or maybe somebody just needs a way to carry their small portable LifePo4 battery on the radio without ever forgetting it, and maybe all of a sudden there's a mount on the top of the radio for that small battery. Basically, I'm talking everything from protection cages to cases themselves, anything to keep the radio secure or enhance the overall experience of your operation with that radio. I would argue that when ICOM released the IC705 SDL, it really created this nearly a wave of community development on products for the IC705. And that in turn made the IC705 a more versatile radio. Now, can you imagine that by the time the FTX-1F is released to the public, there's already a slew of accessories out there? But also, it's not just a slew of accessories by people who don't know what they're doing. It's also a slew of accessories by people who are within the community, and they understand the real-world need of accessories for their product. It doesn't just add to the appeal of the FTX-1F, which is very appealing already, but it further creates an ecosystem of parts for this radio. With more possibilities becomes more desire. But Yezu, if we're also talking about reasons maybe releasing an STL file is a great idea, we might go a little bit beyond the technical aspects of why, and we might talk about the relationship with the community. By releasing an STL file for the Yezu FTX-1F, it helps show that Yezu is in tune with the community. You see what I did there in tune? Another corny one for me. It's a move that shows that you value our input, our creativity, and our commitment to being able to continue to make the most of your products. These kind of gestures will help foster deeper connections with your company, nearly deeper loyalty. When users feel like they're part of the process, they're more likely to stick with you in the long run and they'll become some of your best advocates. Now, Yezu, I know that this might feel like a bold step, but it is one that could pay off in big ways for everyone involved. Releasing the STL files is not just about accessories. It's about trust, collaboration, and building something better within this community. Can you imagine all of a sudden we get a slew of radio operators who are interested because they could also incorporate one of their favorite hobbies, 3D printing and design? This is about creating a lasting impact within the amateur radio community and gives your company the potential to start to become synonymous with innovation and openness, if you will. So Yezu, I'd like to thank you for listening or watching this open letter to you. And I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And although I don't represent the ham radio community, I don't represent the tinkerer community, 
I do think that there will be a lot of people watching this video right now who strongly agree with the things that I have to say about this. And if you do strongly agree with this, please consider sharing this out to people so we can get the word out more, but also let me know in the comments, more importantly, let Yezu know in the comments below that we're ready to work to make the FTX-1F even better than it probably already will be. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk, and I hope you have a good one. 73.